Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on trading with over 190k reputation points. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. In this video, I will be speaking about GBP USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect of this market, then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, which are essentially hedge funds, so the big players in the market. And we will be checking the data precisely for the pound. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here on this pair. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what we must identify is that this market has just tested a quite significant level of structure. In fact, from here, all these multiple rejections to the upside were created. Now, what we can see is that at the moment, the market tested this exact same level and is currently rejecting it to the upside. However, at the same time, we can also notice how there is some a minor resistance that the market is about to encounter. In fact, this zone here has clearly been acting as previous resistance with the creation of this red candle, then it was broken to the upside. And what we know in the market is that previous resistance, once it gets broken to the upside, becomes support. And in fact, it was respected as support here. The market rejected it to the upside. However, it now broke back below the zone. So this previous support is now turned resistance here. So the market is about to test previous monthly support and resistance from which we could expect some short-term weakness. Then in the long run, yes, more bullish continuation could be expected considering that we are rejecting quite a significant level. However, at least in the short term, we could expect some short-term rejections away from this resistance. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Now, from a weekly standpoint, we can notice a very clear impulse to the downside, followed by the start of this correction. Now, in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse leg. And if we do that, we can see how we have the 0.32, 50% and 0.618 Fibonacci retracements lining up exactly at this zone that we, if we extend it to the left, we can see how it is a quite significant level for this market acting as previous resistance here, turn support here after the market broke it to the upside and now again acting as resistance. So all this area is confluence of resistance because we have both the Fibonacci levels and the previous structure support that is now structure resistance. And there is the possibility inside of this resistance level, confluence of resistance level, to see more institutional shorting, which at that point would further increase the probabilities of a potential rejection to the downside away from the level. Now, why do I say that? Because if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, so what institutions are doing, we can see that with the last report, we went from having a positive net positioning of plus 59K net positions all the way down to 15K. And now with the last report, it shifted to negative. So essentially, we went from positive net positioning to negative net positioning from an institutional perspective, meaning that we went from having more longs than shorts to now having more shorts than longs from an institutional standpoint. With currently 80,000 shorts compared to only 73,000 longs, while here we had 84,000 longs compared to 69,000 shorts. So institutions just clearly position themselves to the bearish side of the pound. Now, this means that clearly with the, the last report, we had 11,000 shorts added and 10.8 thousand longs getting closed. Now, this means that if the market will reach that confluence of resistance area, there is good probability of seeing more potential institutional shorting, which at that point would further increase the probabilities of a potential rejection lower. Now, dropping down the daily time frame, what do we have? Well, from a daily standpoint, what we can notice is that in creating this move to the upside, the market is also 
currently creating this W formation. And in general, after the creation of a W, what you would expect is for the market to create a rejection lower to complete the pattern at the neckline, which is the previous resistance turn support. So here on the daily, we could expect a bit more bullish price action, but overall, since institutions are shorting inside of that resistance level that we have identified on the weekly and monthly timeframes, that is where we could expect a potential reversal for the completion of the W formation at the neckline. So if the market will reach this resistance, how we could be approaching a potential move lower. Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily combined with the COT data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames, so for our and lower. Therefore, what we could be doing, potentially also with students, is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the upside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bullish market as we would have to an intraday bearish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bullish to bearish market and provide to us one of our valid entries, at that point, we could be looking for a potential move lower for the completion of this W formation at the neckline. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say valid entries and these kind of things, you want to learn more, I'd really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website here. You have the possibility to get access to my entire course courses with all the rules of the strategies. You also have the possibility to get access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, the VIP market breakdowns with the telegram signals, the COT data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you scroll lower here past the testimonials, you will see that at the moment there is a massive special promotion in which you have a huge discount on the upfront price of the program from 497 all the way down to only 97 one time payment. And if you scroll lower, you will see that at the moment there is still time to join before the offer expires and price goes back to normal. So I really suggest to go and check it out. And directly from here, there is the button to join in order to gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the checkout process. So definitely looking forward to have you on board. The link is also in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.